Thank you, Topo Gijo. And now the moment you've been waiting for. The Fab Four themselves, Economic Vitality, Organization, Promotion, and Design. The 2017 Main Street Award. Welcome to Main Street Mania and 2017 Oklahoma Main Street Awards Banquet. This past year, our Main Street communities have worked hard, put in many hours each day, and succeeded at improving many of their historic districts throughout Oklahoma. The revitalization movement continues to grow, and more small businesses are realizing downtown or historic districts are indeed a viable place for their business. With all the Shop Small and Shop Local campaigns, Main Street programs are reestablishing and maintaining the beauty and history of these communities' downtown and district appearances. Life has come back to these areas, giving both young and old an experience they will not forget. You will see all of them embrace these challenges with great success, whether it is creating an app of the district for a smartphone, or switching many businesses over to energy efficient equipment. Our Main Street programs constantly learn, grow, and help improve their community's way of life on a daily basis. These 34 active programs include the many dedicated people that not only support, but also volunteer their time to improve their local main streets. Our communities accumulated more than 81,500 volunteer hours over the last 12 months. That's a value of more than $1.9 million from local people donating their time to turn dreams into reality. In addition, over the last year, the Main Street four-point approach continued to transform decaying commercial districts into successful economic engines. Being a successful Main Street program takes hard work and cannot be done alone. From rehabilitating buildings to enhancing economic progress, Main Street communities help convert empty historic districts to places that attract thousands of visitors. In 2016, the reinvestment by Main Street private property owners totaled more than $60.5 million. Way to go, Main Street! Add another $2.5 million in public improvements and our Main Street programs bring more than $63 million to the downtown revitalization efforts. The Main Street program has been and continues to be one of the better economic development tools in Oklahoma. This year, we received nearly 200 competitive Main Street Award nominations. Each nomination represents a fantastic Main Street effort for the local community. Tonight, the finalists will be announced in alphabetical order and we ask the award winners to move quickly to the photography area for the award presentations. To become a Main Street community, an applicant must have a broad support base that represents the community's population. A strong organization is the key to Main Street success. With enough people engaged in Main Street's work, anything is possible for our historic districts in Oklahoma. Main Street is a comprehensive revitalization effort blending the four points of organization, economic vitality, promotion, and design. While all work is important, organization is the one point that holds together the Main Street approach. There has never been an Oklahoma Main Street failure where there is a firm, organizational structure in place. The real strength of Main Street lies in the people that give their time, share ideas, and donate their dollars to implement positive change. Main Street organizations partner with other groups to achieve mutual goals for their communities. And it's the organization that recognizes these local leaders in the fight to preserve the community's history. The first Main Street Organization Award is for Premier Partner. Forming partnerships helps spread the workload and gives Main Street ownership to all participants. The more people involved, the stronger the Main Street program becomes. The top Premier Partner nominees are Bartlesville, Hilton Garden in Bartlesville, Okmulgee, Street Signs, and Ponca City, City of Ponca City. And the award goes to Ponca City, City of Ponca City. The City of Ponca City supports Ponca City Main Street in numerous ways, particularly with an annual sponsorship of $30,000, and city employees donate approximately 500 hours a year toward many events. The partnership with the City of Ponca City is crucial to running the Main Street program. 
The city generously provides sound system and technology needs at special events, changes the downtown banners, provides safe infrastructure for the district, and provides office space in City Hall, all at no cost. In addition, the city donated $49,000 to the largest PCMS project to date, the Veterans Plaza, and is one of PCMS's gold members. The city understands the importance of Ponca City's downtown area, and no expense has been spared in making it an amazing place to live, work, and play. Community education and public awareness activity allows the people of the community to understand the values of Main Street and the historic area. City officials well understand the commercial district is where much capital and labor have been invested over the years. Vacant buildings and empty stores yield negative cash flows on these investments. Getting the local youth involved helps them understand the value for their heritage in the downtown built environment. The better informed your public is about the value of your historic areas, the greater their support for Main Street and the more ownership of the process they take. Main Street awareness is a key tool to bringing more and more fans to our downtown areas. The best community education public awareness activities are Ardmore, your favorite new place billboard campaign. Duncan, this place matters. And Wilburton, Main Street Week activities. And the award goes to Wilburton Main Street Week Activities. For years, Wilburton Main Street has offered an educational walking tour for fifth grade children. This year, as part of Main Street Week, the program was expanded to include third and fourth grade children. The tour familiarized students with the architecture of Wilburton's buildings, the city's history, and the people that shaped their community. Tamara Tilly and the high school drama class seamlessly weaved in stories about Wilburton's mining history, a devastating fire, and a violent tornado. Thanks to an enthusiastic program manager, the talented drama class, and the sponsorship of McDonald's and Pizza Hut, Main Street Week in Wilburton was a big success. The best volunteer development program involves finding determined people of all ages that will make the difference in fostering Main Street success. Revitalization is an incremental process. And big fixed development efforts usually fall short of desired results because they aren't comprehensive enough. Main Street work requires the help from school-aged children, business owners, retirees, and many other groups of people making progress one step at a time. The need for a broad base of volunteers from all parts of the community is critical. Volunteer development is the key ingredient for a successful Main Street program. This year, the best volunteer development programs are Durant, Durant High School Service Learning Project, Guyman, Football Families, and Hobart, Main Street Design Committee. And the award goes to Durant, Durant High School Service Learning Project. Durant High School teacher and former Durant Main Street Board President, Loanne Latana, wanted her students to understand some important concepts, such as volunteerism and the impact volunteering has on a community. She wanted them to gain knowledge of historic and present day Main Street, to build relationships with downtown merchants, and to experience the challenges and rewards that come with owning a small business. Latana also wanted her students to learn these things by being active and productive outside the traditional classroom setting. She developed the Durant High School Service Learning Project, which requires students to perform six volunteer hours per semester. Students can choose to help at an event, the Main Street office, deliver flyers, or beautify and maintain the district. More than 700 hours of community service are donated by students each semester. Latana is impacting future generations as she encourages students to become caring, engaged community leaders, and future business owners. Main Street is a local self-help program with very limited money available from public sources. The best creative fundraising effort is for the process that demonstrates effective methods of keeping Main Street programs in business. The financial responsibility to operate the local Main Street programs falls squarely on the shoulders of the nonprofit organizations. Main Street fundraising, while being a tough obstacle to tackle, does benefit the community, both within and outside the historic area. The top best creative fundraising effort are Durant, Dancing with the Stars, Okmulgee, Big Brain Trivia Night, and Ponca City, 2016 Battle of the Burger. And the award goes to Durant, Dancing with the Stars. 
Each year, Durant Main Street hosts Dancing with the Stars of Durant, Main Street's primary fundraiser. Local stars include small business owners, Choctaw Nation employees, city council members, the mayor, and others. The fundraiser has grown steadily in community participation, volunteer involvement, and money raised through its nine years. In 2016, Dancing with the Stars of Durant netted $40,000 for Durant Main Street. The event profits come from a number of sources, ticket sales, sponsorships, purchase of votes, silent auctions, live auctions, and event t-shirts. The funds raised help pay for landscaping projects, lamppost flags, holiday decor, movie night on the square, and the rebranding of Durant Main Street. Moulin Rouge was the event theme for 2016. This year's theme is the Kentucky Derby. The Oklahoma Main Street Hero Award highlights the dedication of an individual to the local Main Street revitalization effort. These devoted men and women account for much of the progress within the historic commercial area. The nominations recognize your neighbors who place a high level of importance on their work and passion for their communities. Main Street heroes make a positive impact on their commercial districts and serve as a big inspiration for others. The top Main Street heroes are Altus, Shannon Preston, Newkirk, Carol Morgan, Okmulgee, Richard Larrabee, and Ponca City, Richard Winter Road. And the award goes to Okmulgee, Richard Larrabee. Richard Larrabee is a technologically savvy entrepreneur, practical and result-oriented, and a multitasker. He displays a strong sense of community, embraces diversity, and willingly volunteers to move things forward. Larrabee, along with his wife, Crystal, and son, Parker, were the first tenants to lease and occupy a newly created loft apartment overlooking Okmulgee's historic town square. The entire Larrabee family dove into the Okmulgee Rising movement and Main Street projects. He is an enthusiastic speaker at citywide gatherings that resulted in the purchase and planned rehabilitation of more than 20 historic buildings. He personally organized and led cleanup days prior to festivals and events, created online videos to highlight available spaces, and writes a weekly column in the local newspaper. Larrabee serves as the chairman of the Roger Brooks Task Force Committee, which is a partnership with the City of Okmulgee, the Chamber of Commerce, OSU Institute of Technology, the Muskogee Creek Nation, the Okmulgee Area Development Corporation, Okmulgee Main Street, and other local organizations to address identified needs based on an extensive study. This young, independent businessman, family man, dreamer, and doer, tireless volunteer, and Okmulgee Main Street president-elect is building a legacy of service to the Okmulgee community. As a member of the Main Street Four Point effort, Promotion supports downtown merchants by helping to improve commercial images and by sponsoring special and retail events enticing shoppers to the district. Each year, Main Street Promotions bring in thousands of residents and tourists to historic commercial areas in our state. While Promotion is the celebration of the program, there is much work to be done putting the best possible appearance on Main Street. Festivals increase pedestrian traffic which increases revenue for business owners. Promotion of the historic commercial district is vital to help bring consumers back to shopping in the local area. These awards showcase the effort and the hard work of these fantastic promotion committees. Main Street retail events are designed to fill up local cash registers for historic commercial district merchants. Most companies have a better understanding of the value of Main Street when events bring them new customers and repeated sales. The best retail events on Main Street draw shoppers to the individual businesses where merchants show off products and reasons why customers should do business with them. The top best retail events nominees are Durant, Dash for Cash, Ponca City, Ladies Night Out, and Tahlequah, Ladies Night Out 2016. And the award goes to Durant, Dash for Cash, Dash for Cash is Durant Main Street's annual holiday shopping promotion held in cooperation with downtown merchants. The promotion kicks off on Shop Small Saturday, a highly promoted national advertising campaign launched at the beginning of the holiday shopping season, encouraging shoppers to shop local. 
The three-week-long Dash for Cash event was created to encourage increased merchant sales through more downtown foot traffic. By rewarding shoppers with prizes, merchants hoped to promote Main Street shopping and increase awareness of businesses located downtown. At the promotion's conclusion, a drawing was held for a $1,500 shopping spree. A Christmas concert was performed in the historic Macy Building and featured carolers from Durant Middle School. With 36 participating merchants, Main Street tracked more than $45,000 spent in downtown Durant during the three-week period of the Dash for Cash giveaway, a 29% increase from 2015. New promotions attract customers to a Main Street area, and they invigorate merchants to discover different ways of marketing their products and services. The Oklahoma Main Street Center's creative new event honors first-time events that increase the awareness of local businesses by reaching shoppers and potential shop owners. Often overlooked, these fresh ideas find untapped market niches and offer greater profit rewards for commercial district merchants. The top creative new events are Hobart, 9-11, Never Forget, Ponca City, 2016, Battle of the Burger, and Stockyard City, Cowboys and Caboodles Art Show and Sale. And the award goes to Ponca City, 2016 Battle of the Burger. On June 2, 2016, Ponca City Main Street hosted the first annual Battle of the Burger, a burger cook-off with 20 teams competing for cash prizes and bragging rights for the best burger in town. Teams consisted of local organizations, businesses, restaurants, and groups of friends. Each team prepped and cooked 30 pounds of hamburger meat. A $5 ticket allowed participants a small bite of as many burgers as they could eat, and some teams even offered sides. The Schooners Car Club hosted Cruise and Grand the same night. It was an evening of burgers, classic cars, and a community coming together. The fundraiser netted more than $17,000 for Ponca City Main Street, which helped pay for the construction of the Veterans Memorial Plaza. Battle of the Burger will be an annual event, and Ponca City Main Street plans to recruit even more teams in 2017. The Outstanding Image Promotion Award recognizes the visual impressions that attract tourists, downtown shoppers, residents, and business prospects to the commercial district. Many times, the first commercial image determines a customer's lifetime buying habits. The image catches the eye, draws a person in, and is perhaps the staple of your Main Street program. Outstanding promotion helps put this vision in the mind of visitors, residents, and prospects alike for years to come. The outstanding image promotions this year are Enid, Elf on the Downtown Shelf. Enid, Shop the Square and Main Street Menu. And Ponca City, the Downtown Flyer. And the award goes to Enid, Elf on the Downtown Shelf. Main Street Enid has a recognizable brand image and is known for occasional oversized fun in the form of giant chess and checker pieces, ladybugs, and snowmen. The giant elf on the shelf, created by MSE's program director, Kelly Tompkins, used a popular Christmas character to bring attention to downtown businesses. The elf visited downtown partners and Christmas sponsors. Photos snapped of elf shopping and other elf adventures were posted on Facebook and tagged to the business visited by the elf. Children believe the elf can't be touched or he loses his magical powers. So when children asked why people could touch or move the giant elf, they were told he has a different kind of magic obtained from people spending time downtown. Many businesses requested an elf visit, providing enlistment opportunities to encourage more businesses to join the fun and support Main Street Enid. The next promotion award is for the premier special event under 1,000 attendees. Special events are designed to bring people to the local Main Street district. While they are there, residents and tourists get to enjoy fashion shows, face painting, various parades, vintage cars, chili cook-offs, and great shopping opportunities. The top premier special events nominees in 2017 are Claremore, Food Truck Thursday, Enid, Butterfly Invasion, and Enid, Downtown Dog Fest. And the award goes to, it's a tie for both Enid's Butterfly Invasion and Enid's Downtown Dog Fest. 
Enid's Butterfly Invasion was a free event that included live music, butterfly photos, face painting, butterfly crafts, and sidewalk chalk art. Flower seeds to attract butterflies were made available at no cost to participants, and free butterfly houses were provided to assemble and decorate. The event's purpose was to celebrate public art and bring attention to Enid's colorful new butterfly project mural, to underscore the importance of butterflies to our environment, and to offer a fun family event with parent child crafting projects. Pre-event activities included a Bee Fit Kids Run, which drew even more children to the butterfly invasion. This event fits with Main Street Enid's overall promotion strategy, to encourage visitors and citizens to spend time downtown and to promote the historic district's public art. Downtown Dog Fest, held in June prior to Father's Day, is a fun, unique event for dogs and their owners. Vendors' booths were assembled on the courthouse lawn to highlight their services, rescue organizations, dog sitters, trainers, and groomers. There were fun activities for dogs and their humans, such as paint with your pooch, at the Creative Arts Enid booth. The purpose of this event was to showcase downtown Enid and its dog-friendly environment. Event participants received maps highlighting 10 shopping establishments and five restaurants with outdoor dog accessible patios to enjoy shopping and dining during the downtown event. Our final promotion award is for the premier special event over 1,000 attendees. These special events draw in big crowds, whether it's a music festival, a food competition, or an anniversary celebration. The top premier special event nominees are Collinsville, 15th Annual Hogs and Hot Rods. Durant, Trick or Treat on the 3rd Street Carnival. And Hobart, 9-11 Never Forget. And the award goes to Hobart, 9-11 Never Forget. The 9-11 Never Forget Grand Opening Ceremony at the General Tommy Franks Leadership Institute and Museum was held on the 15th anniversary of the attack on the World Trade Center, September 11, 2001. The new permanent exhibit allows visitors an opportunity to pay homage to nearly 3,000 men, women, and children from 93 nations who perished that day. General Franks' outstanding leadership in 2001 as a U.S. Commander-in-Chief of Central Command was critical in the days following 9-11 as U.S. troops attacked those held responsible. More than 45 groups, businesses, and individuals coordinated efforts for this city-wide event, with a volunteer base totaling more than 500 individuals. A lunch preceded the program in the historic Stanley Building and featured nine speakers, including Governor Mary Fallon, retired New York City firefighter Bill O'Keefe, Oklahoma Senate pro tempore Mike Schultz, General Franks, and other state and national leaders. The exhibit showcases a steel 14-foot, 3,000-pound I-beam from the World Trade Center, as well as displays of the U.S. Pentagon and United Airlines Flight 93. Now let's take a break and recognize the outstanding contributions made by members of the local Main Street Boards of Directors. The board members of the year are great supporters of the Main Street process and are shown in tonight's program. If these very extraordinary people would now move to the photography area, we'll take a special group snapshot to preserve the moment.
In our downtowns, it is the physical images that attract tourists and residents to keep visiting and shopping in these historic areas. Dilapidated structures, graffiti walls, weeds popping through the sidewalks, and boarded up empty buildings distract people from going downtown. And investors? They would never be caught spending money in such an environment. However, Oklahoma Main Street programs have a unique sense of history reflected in building design, the layout of its streets and outdoor signage inviting shoppers and new residents to town. More than anything else, the Main Street design displays the community's image to everyone that passes by. They understand firsthand the start to revitalizing and preserving the historic nature of a downtown begins with design. The first design award is for the best placemaking project. This award honors the local Main Street organization for attractive design and implementation of public improvements, such as streetscapes, landmarks, directional signage, public buildings, parks, and outdoor lighting. The Best Placemaking Projects nominations are Enid, The Trail Mural, Ponca City, City of Ponca City, Light Poles and Street Signs, and Ponca City, Veterans Plaza. And the award goes to Ponca City Veterans Plaza. Ponca City Main Street members desired a public gathering space in downtown Ponca City. This idea developed into the Veterans Plaza, which following many years of planning and more than a year of construction, was completed in early 2016. For many years, the Veterans Plaza site was a vacant lot. The land and much of the planning and project management was directed by Ponca City Main Street, with major support from local businesses and donors. The city played a key role as well. As envisioned, the Veterans Plaza was designed to be a downtown gathering space for citizens of all ages. Now completed, the plaza features an entrance welcoming visitors with beautifully landscaped beds and a water feature in the form of a fountain and splash pad. The Honor Court, located on the north end of the plaza, is a place of reflection and contemplation. An elevated stage was installed for performances and community events. Custom pavers, bronze seals, and marble plaques are strategically positioned to honor the many area veterans. Bronze seals honoring the various military branches are positioned close by. The plaza was presented as a gift from PCMS to the city of Ponca City, who will provide maintenance of the plaza. The next design award recognizes the images of downtown enhanced by attractive, eye-catching business signs. Brand is synonymous with identity. Store signage is another way businesses advertise products, services, and company quality. Good branding attracts potential shoppers and improves the communication link between businesses and customers. The best building and business branding nominees are Durant, Bliss Boutique, Kendall Whittier, the Beehive Lounge, and Newkirk, Cheeky Burgers. And the award goes to Kendall Whittier, the Beehive Lounge. The Beehive Lounge is a cozy neighborhood bar with the feel of a 1960s lounge. A honeybee motif is carried throughout the bar's branding, from the honey-infused specialty cocktails to the single hexagonal piece of honeycomb that dots the eye in its logo. There are a number of creative design flourishes that give the Beehive Lounge its buzz. The most important change to the building was a rehabilitation that restored the facade to its original historic appearance. The existing sign frame was vacant for years and was repaired and retrofitted with new graphics featuring the logo's signature black and yellow. But the finishing touch was the installation of bright yellow vinyl window graphics in a honeycomb pattern featuring a solitary bee in the center. Above the bar, a custom-made honeycomb lattice creates an instant focal point. The honeybee motif is repeated throughout the space, from the pendant lights shaped like beehives above the bar to the custom yellow felt on the pool table. The effect is charming, fun, and welcoming. The appearance of the historic Kendall Whittier Commercial District was exponentially enhanced by the new look of the Beehive Lounge. After the rehab, investment began to percolate around the property. Kendall Whittier is one of seven certified cultural districts in the state. The vibrant graphic treatment on the exterior of the Beehive Lounge fits perfectly with the artistic, creative vibe of the neighborhood. It only makes sense that the neighborhood bar in an artsy part of town would meet a high standard for graphic design. The Best Visual Merchandising Award recognizes quality visual merchandising in the Main Street area. 
Nominations took into account a business's overall strategy for merchandising, from the front door to the cash register. The display of goods and services highlight their features and benefits while creatively marketing them to the customer. The best visual merchandising nominees are Ada, Farm Girl Boutique, Ada, Rustic Ridge, and McAllister, Harper and Gray House. And the award goes to Ada, Farm Girl Boutique. This quaint little boutique continues to make its mark on Main Street. For the past two years, Farm Girl has built a loyal following and lures new shoppers in daily. The creative marketing and planning happens because of the store owner, Mackenzie Ashcraft. Her eye-catching windows prominently displayed in the heart of downtown showcase the store both day and night and change throughout the year to reflect the shopping season. Ashcraft says one of her favorite things about shopping in other boutiques is seeing the displays in shop windows. Lights left on after dark allow window shoppers a chance to browse after hours, enticing them to return during the day for a closer look. Each display reflects the personality of the store and effectively markets the merchandise. The creative displays earned Farm Girl Boutique first place in the city's holiday decorating contest for the past two years. The entire store, from the scuffed up wooden floor underfoot to the custom built furniture, product displays, and vintage lighting overhead, makes a shopper feel, with a little assistance from McKenzie, like their home could look like this too. Each season, the boutique uses a slightly different approach to showcase merchandise, but the same underlying theme of home sweet home is always there. The presence of this store on Main Street has increased shopping traffic, drawing both locals and visitors to see what Farm Girl Boutique has to offer. The next physical image identified in Main Street planning is for recognizing the best interior design projects. While building exteriors attracts people to downtown, the interiors make them feel comfortable and want to stay. Retailers will confirm the fact the longer people stay downtown, the more likely they are to buy something. Interior design projects should be sensitive to the building, enhance the appearance of the commercial district, and serve as a model to encourage other interior improvements downtown. The best interior design nominees are Enid, Leonardo's Children's Museum, Kendall Whittier, The Beehive Lounge, and Okmulgee, Park on the Square. And the award goes to Okmulgee, Park on the Square. The Park on the Square is an adaptive reuse of a prominent historic structure in downtown Okmulgee. It was originally constructed in 1901 by Jim Parkinson and J.C. Trent for a mercantile on the ground floor and offices on the second floor. The former office suites were converted into loft apartments to meet the growing demand for this type of housing. Staying true to the historic interior elements of the original building's construction is a valuable example of the classic character and sustainability that contributes to preserving the significant period of Okmulgee's commercial business district as listed on the National Register of Historic Places. As described by state preservation architect Harry Sims, this project has maintained the historic features while introducing only those improvements essential to new use. Further, the fact that the projects passed all three parts of the application for the Federal Historic Tax Credit Program is a testament to the strong preservation ethic held by the owners. Today, visiting the rehabilitated second floor of Park on the Square is truly like stepping back in time. Great building design comes in various sizes, shapes, and colors. Building facades are the main visual imprint for your downtown. They are the first impressions for tourists, potential shoppers, and new business locations. First impressions are important because many times downtown shopping districts don't get a second look. Our next award recognizes building frontage improvements costing less than $10,000. The best building facade rehabilitation projects under $10,000 are Claremore, Barron Law Firm, Hobart, Krieger Insurance, and Newkirk, A Perfect Day. And the award goes to Hobart, Krieger Insurance. This 1927 building is a one-story commercial brick building with brick piers creating three bays. Originally a cleaners and laundry for its first 40 years, it was converted into offices for two insurance companies. After 47 years, an insurance company still offices in the building. The transom windows were found to be intact and the paint covering the glass was removed to allow for increased natural lighting. 
Other work on the completed storefront rehabilitation included replacement of all windows with low-E, double-paned, energy-efficient windows, replacement of the front door, wood-framed metal covering awning, new signage, and cleaning of the exterior brick. The signage was chosen from historical fonts in order to bring a nostalgic, curbside appeal to the front of the building, which included a large sign above the awning, a sign on the windows matching the awning sign, and a door sign with operating hours. Through research with the Kiowa County Historical Museum, historic photos revealed details from the past and color schemes were chosen to evoke a sense of nostalgia. The Hobart Main Street Grant Program provided matching grant money to the owner and more than 2,000 volunteer hours and $5,000 of in-kind labor and equipment costs were provided by the community. The junior Main Street students assisted with more than 183 hours of volunteer labor to clean the brick. The Krieger Insurance Building is reborn and the Hobart Main Street Program is proud of the effort to preserve another of the community's historic buildings. The next Main Street Design Award recognizes facade rehabilitation projects costing more than $10,000. Historic building rehabilitations ensure physical uniqueness for your property and the entire downtown community that attracts local customers and tourists, resulting in business growth for the occupant. Occupied buildings provide better security and safety to downtown shoppers and employees. The best facade rehabilitation projects over $10,000 are Bartlesville. Chris Dismang, C.R. Anthony Building. Claremore, Main Street Tavern. Newkirk, Newkirk City Hall. And Tahlequah, Wilson Building Facade Project. And the award goes to Claremore, Main Street Tavern. After the City of Claremore relocated its Senior Citizen Center from downtown Claremore to another location, Jason Scarpa had an idea for the space. Main Street Tavern opened a little over a year later, after a complete renovation of the old building. The rehabilitation is a part of a movement to bring revitalization to the north and south of Will Rogers Boulevard and expand the Claremore Main Street District. Total cost to the owner for the facade and exterior project, including a new roof, was $460,000, although four times that amount was reinvested in the building as a whole. In addition, the City of Claremore rebuilt the parking lot, improved the water line, and performed a few other exterior projects. Because the City owns the property, some of the work, such as the water line improvements, falls on to the municipality. The inclusion of a fine dining restaurant fills a void in downtown Claremore. And the bar makes downtown a nighttime hotspot for the first time in years. The last Main Street Design Award is Best Sustainable Design Project. Sustainable design is the philosophy of designing physical objects, the built environment, or services in an effort to leave the world a little better for the next generation. The best sustainable design projects are Enid, lamp post refurbishment. Enid, mural programs. And Ponca City, Veterans Plaza. And the award goes to Enid, Lamp Post Refurbishment. Whenever a project inspires people to get involved, the project is deemed a community success. Downtown Enid's lamp posts were installed in the 1980s. Subsequent years of UV damage and insect stains made the lights along the town square appear unkempt. In a joint effort, the City of Enid Public Works Department ordered new globes and LED retrofit kits, and Main Street Enid volunteers led efforts to refurbish the unique metal pieces. Each lamp was carefully disassembled, haildings were hammered out, and each piece was sanded and repainted. City employees then collected the metal parts and replaced them around the square. The Modern Woodmen of America and City of Enid Public Works employees provided additional assistance prepping and finishing the metal parts, making the refinishing more manageable for Main Street volunteers. This project provides a clean, well-lit, and enjoyable atmosphere for Enid's downtown visitors. The satisfying result of their work and overall sense of pride is enjoyed each day and walkability, safety, and enjoyment is enhanced in the light's glow at night. If your community is looking for economic growth opportunities, look no further than your historic commercial districts. 
The businesses there represent the heart of the community's commercial and real property wealth. It's from this core of businesses that future growth will occur through expansions, new startups, and customer development. When property owners understand there is a limited demand for neglected buildings, and when businesses learn how to achieve customer loyalty, economic vitality happens. Our first Economic Vitality Award is for the best adaptive reuse of how an empty historic building was returned to productive use. The best adaptive reuse projects are Claremore Main Street Tavern, Hobart Frisco Creek Barbecue, and Newkirk Inner Spaces. And the award goes to Hobart Frisco Creek Barbecue. The building, now home to Hobart's Frisco Creek Barbecue, was built in 1926. The W.D. Wright Produce Company utilized the location as a custom hatchery for thousands of chickens, turkeys, guineas, and ducks. Later, it was used as a large grocery store, storage facility, and a second-hand furniture store. The city of Hobart greatly benefited from a family of brothers who purchased, restored, and renovated the building, and opened the dining destination known as Frisco Creek Barbecue. Many first-time visitors to the venue remark on the lively decor, music, and mood. Frisco Creek features blues music, home-cooked soul food, cast iron fried chicken, and barbecue ribs recognized as some of the best in Oklahoma. The next Main Street Award for Economic Vitality identifies those business practices that distinguish great firms and attract local and out-of-town shoppers. Customers today have different demands on Main Street merchants, and companies that adjust their practices to these needs improve their operating performances. The Best Business Practices nominees are Ada Scraptopia, Altus Bells and Bows, and Durant with Bump. And the award goes to Altus Bells and Bows. Bells and Bows Children's Boutique owners promote their business in many ways, including a virtual tour complete with pictures and information about the business. Utilizing the benefits of social media, Bells and Bows maintains an active Facebook page and boasts a 100% timely response rate. Capitalizing on more than 20 years of business experience, owners treat their customers like family and warmly greet each customer by name when entering the store. Owner Crystal Martin mentors other merchants, freely giving her time and knowledge to help them succeed. According to Crystal, we are all a stronger, collective force if we all pitch in to help Main Street make Altus a destination for residents and visitors to work, shop, and have fun creating memories for our future. New businesses add an important growth element to the Main Street development process. These new teammates help bring new life and more excitement to our communities. New business helps attract new fans and adds value to the established businesses by improving property value. These fresh players attract residents and out-of-town shoppers to our fabulous historic areas. To be eligible for this award, the nominated company must be located within the Main Street area and be at least one year old, but no older than three by the end of 2016. The new business's nominees are Kendall Whittier, Calavera's Mexican Grill, Okmulgee 102 Restaurante, and Stockyard City, Prairie Dust Soaps and Stuff. And the award goes to Okmulgee 102 Restaurante. Every downtown needs at least one core business attracting people to the heart of their city. One that offers a truly unique local experience. 102 Restaurante Flatbread Pizza and Wine Bar has become such a business for Okmulgee. Owners Dwight Beard and Justin Pollard built on their past successful restaurant ventures, giving Okmulgee residents and visitors a dining experience with a flair. 102, as patrons call it, sets a new standard of charm and gourmet dining in Okmulgee's historic downtown business district. Currently, there are only two restaurants downtown serving customers beyond 6 p.m. in the evening. One is the 102 Restaurante. The other is another new restaurant operated by Dwight and Justin as well. With the impending influx of students filling OSUIT's new downtown residential lofts, 102 Ristorante owners understand the need to offer a place for young people to enjoy evening gatherings in a town that has gone to bed too early for too long. 
The award for Business of the Year is a high point in the economic vitality process recognizing an outstanding contribution from established businesses located in the heart of the community. Businesses within Main Street districts have a large economic stake in the commercial progress of that area. How these champions embrace the Main Street process partially determines how successful the community's revitalization effort will be. The Main Street business that has demonstrated the most interest and action in their revitalization efforts will earn this award. The Business of the Year nominees are Hobart, General Tommy Frank's Leadership Institute and Museum, Newkirk, Urban Prairie Art Gallery, and Ponca City, Lewis Associates Architects, Inc. And the award for the 2017 Main Street Business of the Year goes to Hobart, General Tommy Frank's Leadership Institute and Museum. The General Tommy Frank's Leadership Institute and Museum has been a part of Hobart's Main Street program since 2006. In that year, the restoration of an entire block of decrepit buildings began and was ultimately converted into an outstanding museum in Hobart. The development of General Frank's four-star Leadership Institute provides leadership training to hundreds of young people across the world. The creation of the General Franks Institute was the idea of retired four-star General Tommy Franks, who settled in the Hobart area. General Franks had a collection of 38 years' worth of souvenirs, memorabilia, artifacts, and historical documents from all the countries in which he served and held command. General Franks wanted to share these with the American people in an effort to enhance decision-making through the critical study of history. Since its opening, and because of the Leadership Institute, the museum has welcomed thousands of visitors from all 50 states and 23 foreign countries. Hobart has become a destination point for people around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please help us extend a warm round of applause for all Main Street Award nominees and communities. Each and every one of our communities are winners and create many successful stories for the Oklahoma Main Street program.